Topic number one, a market snapshot of the 1986 Fleer 57 PSA 10, the Michael Jordan rookie card. This is the hottest card in the hobby right now. You will perhaps recall that in late March, two copies of this card sold for just shy of $50,000. And we talked about it because at that point in time, it was an all-time high for the card. Yeah, we actually talked about it when it was at 35000 We right? did. We've been mm-hmm. keeping an eye on this one. <laughs> now, last week, Heritage Auctions sold a copy of this card for $96,000, which absolutely shattered the prior all-time highs. Do you guys remember when we were guessing how high this card would get yes. during Last Dance Mania? Yes, I remember offering those predictions, yep. guesses as well. Uh, we did sort of contemplate the idea that it would get near the six figure mark or even eclipse it. We said ninety seven, ninety eight thousand because yeah. it was the year right. of the Michael Jordan documentary. It yeah. was not me who said that. Maybe it, was it, was, Brian. it was Brian. It was Brian. It was a good prediction, Brian. Yeah, but I'm like one thousand off. <laughs> well, you should have bid it up Don't one thousand more. The perfect the <laughs> enemy of the good. And you did it's good. pretty good, yeah. The PSA 10 pop is 312 on this card, which at the new valuation puts the market cap at $30 million, which is the highest market cap for any basketball card to my knowledge. The next highest I'm aware of will be the 2003 exquisite LeBron RPA out of 99 in a grade of BGS 9. The last recorded sale of that card was $264,000 and the BGS 9 pop is 54, which puts the market cap for that card at $14 million. There are three other Michael Jordan Fleer RCEs in the graded PSA 10 that are live at auction. All are live right now. There's one with PWCC on eBay that's currently at 80000 There's one with Probstein 123 on eBay currently at 67000 And there's one with Golden via GoldenAuctions.com that's currently at 66000 So I ask you yet again, where will these three auctions end? I'm going six figures. It's gonna One of them or all three of them? Uh, at least two of them. Um, yeah. I'm going to give a slightly different prediction. I'm going to say, well, it's still six figures, but I'm going to say one of these will reach 123,000. Wow. <laughs> and, and 45. And 45. Dollars, yep. I think that's what I said last time. $123,450 was really? one of my guesses for last time. Well, now I'm taking time. your guess then. You're taking my guess? <laughs> okay, yeah. that's cool. You're just one behind. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and where will this card ultimately settle at value-wise? When everything's done, when it's July and another one runs on PWCC, what's that one going to sell at? You know, And then what's it going to sell at in December? What do you guys think? What's the longer term? Well, I think once it hits 100000 there's no going back. Like, an interesting I point. think that it will stay at a hundred thousand once it hit one once it eclipses that once it eclipses that milestone yeah uh, I think that it will it'll stay there it'll never dip below I mean I could see it I think you know there there aren't a whole lot of these available so if nobody if unless like a lot of people start bringing it to market or something like that then I could see it holding at that level i I see maybe the bottom floor for this like eighty maybe now. Like maybe that's going to be the the next low point when it would maybe be a good buy. I don't know. Interesting. Well, time will tell. All right. Do next you have a guess? Topic. Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I do know that this card had has had a previous run up once in 2016, where the card shot all the way up to the low 40s, and then it came all the way back down to like 18 to 20 thousand. And then it came back up again uh, in the beginning of this year. That might happen, like Brian said, like if people see it's going for a hundred thousand or more, and And they're they're like bringing them to market. Like I think I need to sell this, and then it's gonna maybe like taper off at eighty. Forces of supply and demand will matter here quite a bit Uh, for sure. 